Adding custom product options like an image upload, a text or a drop down is super easy inside Shopify. Let me show you step by step how to add it. First of all, head over to your Shopify dashboard. Now, if you don't already have a Shopify store, I will leave you a link to the best free trial deal down below. Now, once we are on the dashboard, head over to the online store and open up the customization options in a new tab by right clicking on here and by opening this in a new tab. Now, make sure to actually also duplicate this theme so that if you do make any errors, you aren't going to be left with zero and then open up the customization options right here. First off, we will have to create a new product page template so that we can then actually set this custom product option for a certain product. To do so, open up this homepage uh, button right here on the top, then navigate to products and then add a new template. I'm just going to name this custom product options. Then create a template. Now we will have to head back to Shopify, click on products right here and select the product which you want to add a custom option onto. In my case, this would be this custom mug. And I'm simply then just going to select the theme template custom product options right here. And I'm then going to save this. Now, obviously this is going to be very popular for print on demand. So if you do want to run a print on demand store, make sure to get a tool like Printify to get the cheapest uh, products out there. I will leave you a link down below for it. So how do we then actually add the product options onto our page right here? Well, we will have to do that through liquid code and it's actually super easy. I will leave you a link to this tutorial down below. Right here on the left, we can add the different kind of fields onto this and we are going to get the field preview on the right. So let's first of all add a short text onto this. Um, I'm just going to name this custom name for the mug. And then we can actually also add a character limit. I'm not going to do that. And we can select if we do want to make this field required. We can also show this option for a specific variant value, but in this case, I'm going to keep it simple and I'm just going to add that right here. Okay, so we can then actually also select long text, file upload, checkbox, and so on, but I'm just going to get started with a short text and I'm then simply going to copy the code. Let's now head back and let's now under the product page, actually add a new block on the left. Make sure then right here, actually select the custom liquid option right here and then paste in the code. This is then going to preview this right here. We can then repeat this process with all of the different forms which we want. So if you do want to add a custom picture, so essentially a file upload, um, we can actually also select that right here. Then just copy the code and repeat this process by adding another custom liquid option. Paste in the code. And now this is going to be saved and you can actually upload a file. And this is actually already customized to your theme, depending on the options and depending on your theme settings. So this is something super nice to keep in mind. Make sure to actually use this website. It's from another Shopify creator. I will leave you the link down below. Either way, so let's say that the customer now has checked out and has added their information on the custom product fields. How do we can then actually access the information? Well, we can do that by simply just heading over to orders on the left. In my case, uh, I don't have any orders right here as this is an example store, but basically all of the info is going to show up under the order information. So I hope this video was helpful. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.